It is a beautiful day in the garden. We've had three or four days of below freezing temps with some ice storms, which I don't mind, but my plants definitely do. So I'm bringing my plants outside to get them some sun. Look at, this is a lime tree. I got it two summers ago and it's bigger than me. So I'm pretty happy about that. And look at how many, it has a lot of blossoms on it. Like quite a lot. And a beautiful fragrance. It's, <laughs> it's making me happy. But we need to get some more seeds started. We did a bunch of tomatoes a couple of weeks ago and the tomatoes have come up and I brought them outside to get a little bit of sunshine. I'll bring them back inside um, this evening and I'll try to bring them out every day that it's warm and sunny, but they're looking good. They'll get stronger as uh, they get more wind and more sunshine. But I don't have any more of those fancy seed trays. They're really nice, but I just don't have them and they're kind of spendy. So I'm gonna just use a foil pan and I'm gonna make my own seed starting mix. It's pretty simple. You can use anything. You can use potting soil. The biggest thing you need to do is you have to sift it. So this is just homemade. It's quarter inch hardware cloth. But you see these big chunks, these big chunks, they have two problems. If they're underneath the soil, like inside in the mix, the seed can't grow any roots through this. It's too hard, so then they will die. If it's on top, the seed can't push up through this, so then it can't actually wake up and germinate. So the biggest thing is really just sifting your soil. So you can use, um, you can use lots of different things. I'm gonna use one part cow manure uh, any compost, anything that's nutrient rich is good here. And then one part um, pine bark, I sift it really well. And then some perlite. And the perlite, it really just helps with drainage and helps keep it from being too heavy and hard. So let's get to it. from garden last year. It smells amazing. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a stick. And the only reason I do this, you can just sprinkle them across the surface. But this helps me know where to look for germination. Okay, there we go. Take a pinch. And just sprinkle it along that row. And I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm just gonna firm them in. 
I'm just gonna take a little bit of soil, the soil on top. There we go. <laughs> okay, this is ready to go. I'm gonna put it just right inside my shop where it's gonna get direct sunlight from the, the windows on the doors. And that'll probably be up in about a week. So that's pretty much it. Main things are sift your soil so that there's no big chunks. Make sure you press everything in firmly so that everything's in good contact with the soil. And I like to bottom water or pre-moisten the soil so that things don't move around makes it a much better germination rate. Okay. Oh, I need to put a tag in. I'll put a tag in and then we're done. Hope you have a great time in your garden.